What's up guys? Welcome back to my channel. In today's video, we're going to be doing another installment of Fenty Friday. In this video, we're going to be specifically focusing on what the boy beat is. I'm showing you five different levels of how to achieve the boy beat from super, super simple look to more of a boy beat glam using nothing but Fenty Beauty products. If that sounds like your thing or you're interested, just keep on watching. We're going to take you from this to this. So what is the boy beat? The boy beat is essentially a way for men to wear makeup in a way that is very subdued, semi-natural look. I know what I'm wearing right now isn't the most natural, but please hold. So essentially taking what you have, improving it, making it look a little bit better, a little bit more clean and polished. And it's not so much doing the Instagram glam, full makeup, full beat look necessarily. We're taking you through the five levels of boy beats from very basic, simple, no fuss boy beat to fifth level, which is essentially boy beat glam. Step zero for the fancy face is always skin prep. Always prep your skin to take on a product just because makeup does not sit well over dry, unprepped skin. You really want your base to be hydrated and moisturized so that the makeup sits really well on top of it. Not only that, it really helps enhance the look of fresh, natural skin, which is what the Boy Beat's all about. So exfoliate if you haven't exfoliated. Use a moisturizer. I use the Neutrogena Hydro Boost Body Gel Cream for sensitive and dry skin just because you can use it on your body. You can use it on your face. It's just a really good basic staple moisturizer. It's going to do nothing more than add hydration and lock hydration into your skin. Do a layer or two of that, let it set in, and then you should be all good. Also, I like to prep the lips as well. I like to use the Fenty Beauty Gloss Balm. This is in the shade Glass Slipper. Just prepping your lips with a balm or a gloss is going to help them look really juicy and supple, and you don't want to look dry and crusty. So. so, for the first level of the Boy Beat, the intent and purpose is essentially just evening out your skin tone. You are going to be using a product that is very multifunctional. I prefer to use cream foundations simply because you're able to take the product straight from the package and you have a lot of control over coverage. For the first level of this Boy Beat, you are going to do a super sheer light cover of the foundation across your face. And then you're just gonna take a finer brush and then go over spots you want to add a little bit more pigment to in order to spot conceal or cancel out any blemishes or hyperpigmentation. With this step, the key is super light hand. Build up the product how you see fit because the intent again is super sheer wash of coverage just to cancel out any redness, cover up any imperfections, give you a very even base. If you have a beard like me, feel free to take the product into your beard lightly, just buff it in just to even out everything. For this step, I'm gonna be using the Fenty Matchstick in Maple, my perfect skin color. With these matchsticks, super, super versatile in how they work. They can be concealers, foundations, and a lot of other things as you're gonna see. I just take the product straight from the matchstick, apply it on. If you want super, super full coverage, feel free to apply the product to your face and blend it out. But again, the intent with this is very, very light, even wash. So use the tool to build up the product. With this, notice I'm not really swiping a lot. I'm really stippling in the product. That puts the placement of the pigment right where I want it. So I'm not moving the product around. I'm putting color where I need it, coverage where I need it. The next step is to set it. Setting it is locking it down so it doesn't move and it's gonna last all day. There's two ways you can set. First way for me that I prefer is a setting spray. A mist like this is just going to create a layer that locks everything down and holds it in place without looking too dry. This is great for drier skin individuals. Just do a few sprays across the face, let it dry down and you're all set. If you're oily skin or you prefer to use a powder instead, I use the Fenty Invisimat Blotting Powder. With this, taking the Fenty Precision Sponge, just took some powder and really pressed it in where I didn't want the product to move. If you tend to get creasy, which for example, for me under the eye or in my forehead where I'm really expressive, just taking that powder and pressing it into those areas after you blend it out the product to make sure it's not in the creases is going to prevent it from creasing and really hold it in place throughout the day. Also, this is really convenient to have if you are oily skin to just be able to blot throughout the day and absorb any excess oil and shine. Level two of the Boy Beat is taking what we just did with evening out the skin and amplifying it just a little bit by adding brightness to the face and adding glow to the face. If you are an individual that has really, really dark under eyes, the first step for this level is going to be color correcting. So color correcting, you are taking a color to neutralize any unwanted colors on your face. For example, we're talking about correcting under eye darkness. I'm gonna be taking a peachy color. This is the matchstick in the shade Honey to neutralize that. With color correcting, you are taking a color opposite of the unwanted color on the color wheel to neutralize it, ideally creating a much more even tone across the face. Thus, peach corrects the bluish purpleness in your under eyes. If you have redness in your face, green corrects that. I'm laying that product down as a first layer in a really, really light layer. You are able to use anything from a brush, which I use an eyeshadow brush because it helps me lay down product and diffuse it out. 
You could use the precision sponge, which if you'd rather have as few tools as possible, it's a really great asset to have. Or as you can see, I'm also using my finger. Fingers are great with cream products like this because since the heat in your skin is gonna help melt down the product a little bit more, it helps it become a little bit more moldy on the skin. So you get a much more natural effect in that it's melting into the skin a lot more evenly. Once your under eyes have been corrected, which you can see one versus the other, we can then go into brightening. And so with brightening, you're taking a shade that's a little bit lighter than your foundation, but still within the same undertone. I'm using the matchstick in the shade Bamboo, and I'm focusing that in the center of my face to essentially create this look of a spotlight shining in my face. With highlighting, you're adding a little bit of dimension in your face, which gives you a little bit more life. Without doing so, your face is kind of flat. There's not a lot of life to it. Brightening really starts to amp up the look of you are awake, you've rested. Focusing that in the center of my face, more specifically in the inner corners of my eyes, diffusing it out in the center of my forehead to really make it look like the light is shining right in the center of my face. Once that's all blended out, we're going to start adding illumination to the face. And that it just makes you look really, really fresh, really dewy, really glowy. It's really nice to have that look just because it makes your skin look really, really healthy, it makes you look a lot more youthful. To do so, I'm showing you two different methods. One is using the matchstick in the shade Pearl. With this one, it's really cool because it's a glow stick. It's a balmy texture that with the heat of your skin melts down into this really nice glossy sheen. The final product doesn't have any, any shimmer, but you still get really nice fresh glow. It looks like your skin is just really, really moisturized. With that, you can either use your finger, but I'm gonna use the butt of my precision sponge. And I'm just focusing that on the high points of my cheeks, right underneath the brow bone arch, right on the bridge of my nose between my eyebrows. And anywhere else you really wanna add glow, I do a little bit up here above my eyebrow as well. If you wanna know where to put highlight, what I do is with a really moisturized face, go into a light or in front of a light and see where light naturally bounces off. Those are great places to place your highlighting products so that it looks a lot more natural. On my other cheek, I'm gonna be using the Fenty Kilowatt in the shade Mean Money Hustler Baby. I tend to use the more shimmery half of this, but feel free to use this more subtle half if you're more comfortable with that. And with the highlighting brush, I'm focusing that in the same places as I did with the glow stick, just on the high points of my cheek, under my brow, right uh, between my eyebrows. With this one specifically, because I have eyelashes that point straight down, so you see a lot of my eyelid, I like to add a little bit of shine there just because it makes my eyes look more bright, illuminated, awake. So I'll place some product right above my pupil and right in the inner corner of my eye as well. And then same with the other steps, feel free to set everything down, especially with the under eye concealer. A really cool step with that that I learned from a makeup channel is to take the back end of a brush and roll it up underneath your under eye just to remove any excess product and to prevent any product creasing. And once that's blended out, right away, go ahead and set that with powder. That way it's locked in place, it won't crease and it'll last all day. Level three of the Boy Beat, now we're adding a little bit more dimension to the face. So if you wanna look a lot more lively, look a little bit more sculpted, really chisel out your face, this is a really great step. So on top of all the levels we've already gone through, we're going to be adding now the sculpting element by means of contour. So with this, I'm gonna be taking the matchstick in the shade Mocha. And with the butt end of my precision sponge, I'm gonna be taking that and starting to focus it underneath my cheekbones, in the temples, and around my eyes to sculpt the face. Notice I'm starting in the back towards the perimeter of my face and working forward towards the center of my face. With my cheekbones, I start a little bit above where my natural cheekbone is, just to create a bit more of a lifted look in the face, which is gonna help enhance your cheekbones and make them look really, really high. Notice with the temples, I'm starting in the hairline and blending towards the center of the forehead so that the product is more concentrated back here. And then notice around the eyes, I'm focusing in the outer third of the eye and blending upwards diagonally. This is also another way to create a lifted effect. And also I'm focusing a little bit of product right underneath the start of my brow in that little inner corner arch and going down the bridge of my nose. With those, you're adding shadows normally where they naturally occur. You're just kind of emphasizing them more. With the usage of the butt end of the precision sponge, I'm softly building up the coverage. So I'm not starting out with a super, super stark contour. 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 The name of the game with this, again, is soft. You really want to create a very even flow that's seamless from one part of the face to the other. So nothing's too harsh. That's why I'm taking products straight from the product with the tool and applying it in light, light layers on the face. You can go as hard as you want with this, but if you're not comfortable or if you want to be really, really low key, you're able to do really, really sheer layers of everything we've done so far. Another step with this that's going to be really useful in framing the face is sculpting the brows. With this is not about carving your brow, chiseling out your brow. You're really just enhancing your natural brow shape, potentially adding a little bit more density in the brow. So to do so, I'm gonna be using the Fenty Brow MVP in the shade Black Brown. And you see me taking the brush end and start brushing up my brow hair. It's gonna help me see the natural brow shape. And then once I have that kind of combed out, I'm gonna start taking the pencil side and underlining the brow. 
I'm defining the bottom edge of it where I really want it. Then once I get to the tail, I start filling in a little bit more of the density of the tail, emphasizing the shape of the tail as well. And once that's good, I do a little faint line on the top of the brow just to kind of define that shape. And you can see it's nothing too severe. It's my brow just outlined. And then taking the brush end again, I start to diffuse that line into the brow hair so that the line becomes a lot more softer, it's not so harsh, and that it blends into the brow itself. So it looks a lot more natural. Any spots that I feel I've gone a little bit too hard with, I take my finger and blend the product out a little bit. It softens that much more. And afterwards, comb your brow hairs around, see if you've missed any spots, and start filling those sparse parts in with your brow pencil again, just with little hair-like strokes, so that you're filling in your brow really, really softly. With this, the goal is just to create a little bit more of a defined brow. You're not doing the most. If you feel the need to at any point with your facial hair, you can take the same brow pencil, comb through your mustache or your beard, and do little hair-like strokes again, just to create a little bit more density. Sometimes my mustache line isn't the most even, so I'll do so just on the top line right here. I'll go in and do little hair strokes downwards just to make that line look a little bit more uniform. Also, if you really wanna do the most with a natural skin look, feel free to take your brow pencil and enhance a little bit of the birthmarks around your face. I find that really helps to emphasize the fact that it's your skin just a little bit better. If you have a little bit of your imperfections and blemishes coming through like your birthmarks, it's gonna be a lot more helpful so that no one clocks the fact that you're wearing a beat, so. Life hacks. Level four of the Boy B is essentially taking everything we've done through level one through three and amping up the coverage. With this, I'm starting off with my Pro Filter Foundation. I use the shade 290 and I'm doing a layer across my face using my sponge. If you'd like a little bit more coverage, for you to take your brush and stipple in that product. Start with a light layer, and I'm gonna emphasize it right now. Start with a light layer of foundation. Don't do full mask right away, because we are gonna be incorporating concealer into the look, and that way you're not ending up with a super heavy mask-like cake face, which for this part of the boy beat, we're not going for necessarily. Once you've done a layer two foundation, you've gotten coverage where you want it, we're gonna take our Pro Filter Concealer. For this, I'm using the shade 290, and I'm gonna start spot concealing in places that I want a little bit more coverage. For me, around the nose, inner corner of the eye, and outer corner of the eye where I have some darkness. Notice this shade of concealer isn't super super stark it's a little bit brighter than the foundation but not the most it's gonna help to be a lot more uniform with the overall look we're gonna blend that out and as soon as it's blended out we're going to set it as we do with the other steps I'm going to add a little bit of definition in my face using the matchstick in the shade mocha around the perimeters around the eyes I'm gonna fill in my brows a little bit more and then we're just gonna set it with this level you're just adding a little bit more coverage this is something I use uh, when I have really problematic skin again I got into makeup mainly because I had really problematic skin I would use foundation to cover breakouts if there are things you want to cover this is the level for you just because ideally this is still pretty natural but the coverage is a lot fuller you're really hiding what you want to hide but it's not over the top it's not full glam just yet it's also something I do if I have to do shoots either video or photo or have an event or I'm going to the club and I'm gonna be sweating just because this is more full coverage looks better in studio lights and the way we set this it's going to last a lot longer and it's able to control a lot of the shine it's better for film as well as just long-term wear. The Pro Filter line is meant to control oil, soften a lot of texture, so it's really, really conducive to long-term wear. I've worn this for anywhere from 12 to 20 hours and it's looked good, so. Level five of the Boy Beat. This is Boy Beat Glam. With this, you're doing the most now. We're going to start off by amplifying the under eye brightening. I'm going to be taking a concealer a little bit lighter, it's just shade 230, and I'm focusing that in the very, very center of my face. So right underneath the inner corner of my eye, as well as under the forehead, blending that out softly. Notice the brightness that brings into my face. This is if you really want to look awake, you really want to do the most in creating that spotlight effect. We're going to set that. We're going to go and start adding more color into the face. And to do that, I'm going to be going in with the matchstick in Chili Mango. It's this really cool orange with gold reflect. I like orange on my skin. Find a color that works best for you. You can see I'm focusing that right above the area where we did our contouring. And I'm really diffusing that color out lightly. Build this up as much as you want. You can go as light as you want. But with blush, you're just adding life and color. You're adding blood back into your face so that you look more alive. I have take that up the cheekbone, through the temple. I like to bring it up into my brow crease as well, just to create a more uniform look. And if you want, you can bring it across your nose super, super lightly. Once that's there, I like to take my bronzer. I'm using the Fenty Beauty Sunstalker Bronzer in Private Islands. And I, with a fluffy brush, am starting to diffuse out the perimeters of my face. Think of it like a little sandwich. I have the contour, I have the blush. Bronzer is kind of creating a nice diffusion between the two. Bronzer adds warmth. So I'm taking that through the higher points of my cheeks, through my temple, through my forehead as well, focusing a little bit more on the top and across my nose. And then to do a little bit more with the step, I'm now gonna be taking the bronzer with a smaller, fluffier brush throughout my eye to really enhance the dimension we created. 
I start on the lower lash line, buffing that out a little bit, and then following the line of my eye, start to go up to really enhance that angled lifted effect. And then I go through my crease and then into the inner third of my eye next to the start of my brow as well to soften that. And then build up as much as you want with that. You can go as heavy as you want or as light as you want. What's great about using a bronzer is A, it's a very uniform color throughout the face, but B, it's not pigmented like an eyeshadow. So you have a lot of control as to the color payoff. My mom loved when I introduced her to this because they made doing her makeup a lot quicker and a lot easier for her. If you want to define the shape more, or if you've done a little bit too much and you want to cut it back a little bit, I go in with the Matchstick in Bamboo again, or whatever creamy product you have. Super, super lightly with the precision sponge, I start to buff a little bit to just soften it. If you want to cut the shape, feel free to do it with the tip of the sponge and just lightly underline where you want the uh, cut to be to help shape that eye. And that way you have a lot more control about the shape and the color payoff. Once that's all done, you've done contour, bronzer, blush, brows, we're going to introduce highlight. Now with this, I go ham with highlight. I love to glow. I layer products like no one's business. I start by introducing darker highlights and working my way towards lighter shades. So I'm going to be starting with the brand new Fenty Diamond Bomb in the color Cognac Candy. Super pretty coppery color with gold reflect. You can see right there. And I focus that on the majority of my cheek. I essentially layer it right above where the blush was and I blend it up under the brow bone in between my eyebrows, very, very light layer. The key for this one is just, I want a little bit of the essence of it, but mainly I just want more of the shimmer. And once that's down, I'm gonna go in with the Fenty Beauty Kilowatt in the shade Me Money Hustle Baby, taking the more shimmery side. I focus that more on the higher points of the cheek. So more above the apple, under the brow, between the brows on the bridge of my nose, um, right above the pupil, in a corner, and then my cupid's bow. This step as well, I take a really, really fine liner brush like this, and I focus some product on my uh, tear duct line. It just really focuses the light in that part of my eye and really brightens things up, because notice everything here is very, very bright. And then last layer of highlight, I'm gonna take the Diamond Bomb in the shade I'm in Carrots, and I focus that, once again, on the highest parts of my cheekbone, so right over here, under the brow arch, center of the face, and this just helps to make things look really, really wet. So those three highlights together create a really multi-dimensional shine. So when light hits you in any direction, you're just popping, you're glowing, you look good. At the end of the day with Boy Be Glam for me, it's just looking really, really glowy. Now we're going to set it all down. With this, again, I do this more for club things or going out and having a night when I do the most. Um, because there's so much product on the face and a lot of it now is powder, I like to take a setting spray first and spray everything in a very, very liberal layer. And this just sets everything down. This is the Milani Make It Do Setting Spray, but the Fenty Beauty What It Do Refreshing Mist would work as well. Liberal layer, let that set down. I then like to take a mattifying spray because I have oily skin and I focus this one right on the center of my face. And this mattifying spray by Milani is a godsend. It works amazingly. With that focus on the center of my face, I don't get oily product sticks. It looks matte, but still like fresh, it's not too dry looking. Once everything is set down, I start putting finishing touches. So if you feel like your brows aren't matching the intensity of everything else on your face, feel free to go in and do a little bit more with the brow. I'm also putting on a new shade of the Gloss Bomb. This is the shade Hot Chocolates for this one. Really, really faint color payoff, but it just enhances the natural color of my lip. With so much going on in the face, I want the lip to be a little bit more prominent. And then if you find your face is too shiny after all that setting spray, just set down the parts you want to reduce or shine in while keeping the rest of the face really, really glowy. So I don't touch perimeter of my face with powder I just focus on the center and after that you should be done so there you have it five levels of what I would call the boy beat using nothing but Fenty Beauty products this is for any man that wants to get into putting a face on whether he just wants to look a little bit good on the day-to-day -day or do the most for an event or the club or a party there is a level of the boy beat that's fit for what you're looking for if you have any questions any concerns feel free to leave them down in the comments if you have any recommendations for Fenty Fridays leave those down there as well Everything I've used is going to be down in the description box so you can find whatever product it is you like. Feel free to like and subscribe down below and tune in every Friday for Fancy Friday. Happy Friday!